Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. I've been using ColorOS 11 for the last couple of months and I have to say that there's a lot to be excited about getting this update on our ColorOS 7 running devices. So in this video we're going to do a comparison between ColorOS 7 and ColorOS 11 and why we should be excited about getting this update to our ColorOS 7 running devices. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified too whenever we have new videos on the channel. So what I have in front of us here is the ColorOS 11 running Find X2 Pro and of course the ColorOS 7 running Reno 3 Pro. Now there is going to be an update coming in for the Reno 3 Pro. I'll give you guys a link in the description below to a tweet that was posted out by Oppo talking about the timeline of when the updates are going to be pushed out. But today we're going to be focusing on the different versions of Android running on these two different devices from Oppo. And as you can see what we have here is ColorOS version 11 on top of Android 11. And of course here we have ColorOS 7.1 running on top of Android 10. The first change that ColorOS did end up going with from Oppo is that they now match the number of Android. So if you're running version 11 you're running on top of Android 11 as opposed to where 7 was running on top of 10. So there's no more confusion in that. So that would be probably one of the biggest things that comes actually more of an update in the background. And from there we're going to jump into some of the customization options that we've seen now with ColorOS 11. So first and foremost we're going to go in into the actual customizing the launcher itself. So you notice that the actual options that we have now are slightly more categorized as opposed to here where we have just widget wallpapers effects and of course there's settings. Here you can customize your wallpapers, your icons, which are also very nice. We can install custom icons that are running here. As you can see, I have multiple different versions. I have Pebble, I have basically a vintage here. I have Outline, MIUI 11 even running here. There's a whole bunch of different options that you're able to basically customize. And of course, you can go with the default ones. But the main benefit is custom icon support built in directly to ColorOS. Uh, we don't actually have a way of customizing the icons the same way. So that's something that's actually new. Uh, layout is also something that we now have as a main option here as opposed to having to go into the settings to change the layout. Widget, transitions of course, and of course under more we'll see additional things that we can talk about. So icons were the first things. The other thing we also have is the ability of changing the animation speed, which is also very nice on the actual device. So here, app animation, we can go from fast, medium, or slow which helps the actual UI, the elements of the actual launcher, run much faster. And that's something that I got so much comments on directly from people saying, look, how come your phone runs so much faster? And that's because I'm able to change the animation speed straight from here, not having to go into any option outside of the launcher, go to animation speed, and of course go for medium, slow, or fast, which is the way I'd like to keep it. Now, the rest of the options that we see here, obviously we can change the home screen style. We can also change in as far as the grid size. All of those things are standard and typical. Changing the ability or the ability of changing our swipe down from search to notification panel is present on both of them and of course we can set the theme based on the theme store which we actually have some more configurations now with color os 11 than we had with color os 7. Now one of the other options that they did change here is the categorization of different things you'll notice that there's a nice little accent coloring here as opposed to the different color icons that's going on and we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get into the personalization section but first we're going to jump into brightness and as far as the display settings so we notice that we both support now dark mode so dark mode is present on both of them although color os 11 gives us the ability of going between enhanced medium or gentle dark mode and that's the ability of going a little bit further with customization when it comes to dark mode some people prefer the pitch black color which has been part of color os for some time but now we have the ability of customizing it and going a little bit further with that uh, the next thing obviously we want to talk about is the always on display so we scroll down all the way down here the customization options are definitely a lot more now we can customize it by creating our own always on display style custom patterns text only and of course text and image or analog clock here we can customize basically the clock style and of course we can go in there and customize the time when it turns on and turns off but as far as the actual customization, that was the, basically the limit of what you could do. Uh, we still have the uh, OSIE uh, vision effects here that we can turn on, but the overall experience here with ColorOS 11 is so much more option. Uh, there's so many more options. And these, just for reference, are custom made ones. I actually created these lock screen uh, icons and they're very nice and they of course work really nice on the always on display as they show with the animation that we see there. And you can create your own as many times as you want and whenever you create them, you can save them. And of course, you can create a text here. So, you know, let the beard guide you. <laughs> you could do whatever you'd like. A lot of customization for the always on display for sure. Now, both ColorOS 7 and ColorOS 11 support a theme store. So you're able to download it from basically themes, font, wallpapers, and of course, additional things to customize your device. And of course, that's something that's present on both of them. 
But one thing that we do now have that's a little bit more customizable, it's the ability of personalizing our device a little bit more. So themes are still present, wallpapers, of course, always on display as we talked about, the ability of customizing and changing the different clock styles that we have at the top. Um, icon styles, that's something that we talked about at the beginning, the ability of changing our custom icons here, something that you can enjoy. Um, app layout, that's of course something that you can also do here. Uh, next, next, uh, but not, well, next, next is the ability of changing the uh, fingerprint style. That's the new options that you have in here. They added some new options as well. Uh, now, the color theme or the color options that we have within the system is the ability of changing how the accent colors are set. By default, it comes in with red, and I was able to change it here. So you can customize it to change it to whichever color option that you'd like. And of course, you can even go and customize multiple color options that you'd like. You can customize it directly from the colors, obviously fonts, notifications, and last but not least is the ability to basically just see an incoming calls. That's the Aurora light that we have present there. So a lot of new options specifically put in there when it comes down to personalization in that little option here. Now it's all categorized in one section and you don't actually have to go too far. The home screen and lock screen always on display. That's also still present there. Although this is primarily going to be covering only the lock screen magazine, not necessarily always on display customizations. Those are new and that's what we get now. Now, one feature that we've had in the past, and that's the ability of using three finger swipes to be able to take a screenshot. That's something that's been present and we've had that from before. One thing that we didn't have that now, let's go ahead and say exit, is the ability of using the three finger swipes to be able to actually do translation. So first, these are the three finger swipes. I was able to take a picture, that's normal. But if I press and hold my fingers and then swipe down, you notice I was able to highlight a, a space of text and I can actually go in and translate it. So obviously this is there's not gonna need any translation, but if let's say this was in another language, I can actually use this specifically when I'm using the camera or on a website to translate documents. So three finger gestures still works the same way for taking a screenshot, but now also includes translation as part of Color OS 11. Very nice and very handy, especially when you're traveling. One of the other cool apps that they also added in here is called the Oppo Labs. That's the ability of getting a few new functions in there. So first, obviously, is the ability of creating your own custom ringtone, the ability of doing a decision spinner, of course, the focus mode that was also added in there, a quick return bubble, that's also one of the new features. There's a lot of new things in personalized icon styles. Last thing, it's a three finger per swipe, and of course, screen off gestures, a lot of new things, flip to mute for incoming calls. So you can definitely see all of the new options you can see here, all the different options that they added. But again, you can also make and create your own ringtone, which is really, really nice. So this is the lab's ringtone, and I'm gonna go ahead and go under generate, and I'll give it a second. And of course, as you can see here, we have a lot of different options that we can use. And of course, you can go in there and customize them and remix them to your own liking. There's also the Soul Loop application that was also added that gives you the ability of creating more of a custom style video from different pieces or smaller clips that you created that's also present in here. And that comes in with the ColorOS 7.2 update. So not present on 7.1, but 7.2 has that. And GameSpace, of course, also had some updates available directly based on ColorOS 11. So there's a lot of nice optimizations. One of my favorite options that came in with GameSpace as far as ColorOS 11 is the ability of using the bubble or the return bubble whenever we're playing a game like specifically with PUBG you can start a match and if say you're waiting in the lounge waiting for the match to start and you want to be able to answer a phone call or do basically something outside of the app it creates a little floating bubble that you're able to use and helps you basically know exactly when the match is about to start on top of that feature in the gaming option, People Bubble came over as well as nearby sharing. So you now have the ability of doing nearby sharing directly from your device. Uh, and you can definitely see that the option has been added in there. Although this is not unique to Android 11, Android 10 did receive it as part of an update. Uh, the other thing that of course we now have is the ability of having the custom options to use uh, the power button. So let's go ahead and press and hold the power button. I'll give it a second to get rid of this. Now we have the device control that's built in here using the Google Home functions. And as you can see, what they did essentially is they added these features to what we currently have on ColorOS 7, giving us the ability of controlling all of our home automation functions directly from the power menu, just like any other ColorOS or Android 11 running device. Now where they took it to the next level is the ability of using something called FlexDrop. So now when you bring up an app just to be able to take it into recents, you're actually able to jump it into more of a window multitasking function that enables you to enjoy it in much more of a, a simplistic way, either a floating bubble straight up on here, or you can even make it into a smaller window that you can interact with. So if you're, let's say, playing a video, you can have it just sit there and it'll work really, really nice. Definitely a very simple, very easy way to interact with different applications and built in. They call it FlexDrop and it's definitely a multitasking king. The next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the ability of getting a nice little additional function that's added into our video options. So within the camera, we've seen this before with ColorOS 7, we have the Super Steady. So this is the Ultra Steady actually. 
And now we actually have the ability of going one step further, and that's the ability of using the Ultra Steady Pro, which gives us the ability of using the wider angle lens on the camera. So here, this would be basically what you're looking at with the standard. Let's go ahead and bring it up. So what we have now is Ultra Steady turned on, and of course, this is the normal field of view. It's slightly cropped in to give us that stabilization. The new pro feature that's added in here gives us the ability of using the wider angle lens. So more options, more field of view or better field of view and still providing us that stabilization. And it's built into the video option on ColorOS 11 running the camera app, the brand new one. Some of the options that we've had in the past obviously is the power saving modes, the ability of turning on different options. So power saving mode on to be able to extend the battery life of our device. Color OS 11 brings in with a couple of new options, the super power saving modes, of course, on top of the standard power saving mode. And that gives us the ability of also using the options of using power guard. That's the under more battery setting, the ability of saving the battery of our device, extending the battery of our phones by not leaving them on the charge, charging to 100% all the time. So the really nice feature about this is the ability of optimized night charging at night, your phone will charge up to 80%. And after using it for a few days, it learns when you're waking up in the morning and of course charges it to meet at 100% for that specific time that you get to use it. Therefore, helping you have a longer battery life without compromising the fast charging that Oppo is known for. Of course, we have 65 watt charging here, but we're seeing even more up to 100 125 watt charging coming in in the future. So really nice features added to the phone for extended battery health. And of course, overall longevity of device usage. Now, there's a few other options that they added in there, which is one of them is private space Hyperboost 3.0. And of course, a lot more customizations that were added in there. ColorOS 11 revitalizes the phone and it may really makes it feel like it's a brand new phone again. I love all the options that they've given us in there. And of course, the ability of changing the animation speed, just that feature by itself automatically without having to go into developer options makes it into a much more enjoyable experience. Now, more devices are going to be receiving this update. This is not limited to the Find X2 Pro. The beta is expanding. Oppo is posting more and providing more updates. Uh, now, this was originally released through November. So now we're in December. We're seeing more updates. And to my understanding, all of the features that we're showing you right now will be coming in more of a staged update. So even if you get Color OS 11 for the first time, maybe not all of these features will be there. But as the updates get pushed in, you'll have more and more features added to your device. So. If you're still running a ColorOS 7, 7.1 or 7.2, ColorOS 11 will really revitalize your phone and truly make your phone feel a lot better. Uh, soon, hopefully I'll be able to do a video for you guys on the F17 Pro, and that one's more of a budget-friendly device that's running ColorOS 11. So how will ColorOS 11 run on a, uh, I would say a budget-friendly phone, not running a flagship Snapdragon 865 processor? Keep it with us here, like and subscribe as usual, and you'll definitely be able to check it out very soon. This is TK. I'll see you guys in the next video.